Welcome to Chemistry Lover and today in this video I will discuss about a very common and well known name reaction which is the benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement. Now I am uh, making this video because uh, previously I didn't make any video on this particular topic and also this question came in uh, June 2019 CSI exam. So the question was given, so question was given starting from benzaldehyde starting from benzaldehyde they have given sodium cyanide cn minus basically and you know sodium cyanide if you react with uh, this benzaldehyde i already discussed this reaction this will form the benzoin so this is the structure of benzoin right so this is benzoin and it is called benzoin condensation so this is the first step of the reaction and uh, then the in the question it was given mno2 mno2 this is an oxidizing agent so here you have one alcohol and it will be oxidized so you will get this this so this is called benzoin so this is our starting material uh, this is called benzyl So this is called benzoin and this is called benzyl and this is the starting material for benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement. So uh, to solve this question you have to know the benzoin condensation this oxidation step and then you have to know the benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement. Now the rearrangement reaction is very simple so only sodium hydroxide is needed for the reaction and let me draw it again. So this is the structure of benzyl. and here NaOH is given so if NaOH is given you can see there is no other electrophilic center than these two OH groups and the uh, sorry these two carbonyl groups and they, these two are uh, same these two are similar groups because their environment is same so this sodium hydroxide can attack on any of this carbonyl group and the reactivity of these two carbonyl groups are mutually increased by the effect of one another now if the sodium hydroxide attacks over here what you will get this pH CO uh, OH O minus and another pH group over here so this is the intermediate you will get now if the NaOH concentration is very high you can get dianion like this so here you will have O minus this will also be O minus and here you have phenyl so this center can also be deprotonated if the NaOH concentration is very high uh, if the NaOH concentration is not that much high then you will get this monoanion species and adjacent OH group now if this O minus push here you can see this is the only group pH which can migrate so it will migrate over here and you will have something like this pH uh, O minus here you have this uh, carbonyl group here you have this O minus and here you have this phenyl right so this is the thing you get now if this this was like OH then you will get this and in the next step so a uh, uh, proton exchange will happen and you will end up with OH group over here here you have this phenyl group and here this C double O minus group and finally when you do work up with H plus H2O you will get this pH this pH this OH and this C double OH so this is the product this is called benzylic acid so this is how benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement occurs now in the CSI net exam this time this option was given at the same time uh, option was given like this this one right so this one was given now it can be formed from here you can see if the lactonization occurs between this OH group and between this carboxylic acid group this uh, this lactone can form but this lactone although it is strained but it can still form but 
you have to know that the reaction they have given the reaction condition in the last step they have they have given only in a which right so basic condition was given and after that workup would be done but they didn't given any acid and electronization or esterification cannot happen in basic medium you need acid medium because in basic medium it will always remain as this carboxylate anion so this which cannot attack over here right so this will not be the product many people are confused that this may, this may be the product but this is actually not so this will be your product now this is the benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement that is a there is a similar reaction called semi benzylic uh, semi benzylic acid rearrangement so there the substrate is little bit different like this one so let's say you have carbonyl group over here and in this side let's say you have any group methyl you may have and a leaving group like uh, bromine right it may be a bromine and in this case so uh, this reaction so it is a leaving group right this bromine is a leaving group and let's say any uh, so again it may be any base like oet sodium ethoxide or it may be sodium hydroxide NaOH so when this O minus it comes over here so this phenyl can shift to this it can go or there is a danger that this OH can attack over this uh, this bromine also so it can be substituted so there is a possibility but you will get this product uh, this OH over here and here you will have this pH this methyl so this methyl uh, this phenyl ship product you will get and this is the product of semi benzylic acid rearrangement so this is the benzylic acid type of thing so this is called semi benzylic acid because the substrate is not actually the benzyl this may be another living group like so they may give you NH2 right NH2 they may give and first it is converted to PHCO into plus right so it may also be given so it is converted to N2 plus by NaNO2 HCl so this this, uh, this again can give you semi benzylic acid rearrangement so basically when you don't have two adjacent carbonyl groups you may have some other living group and that also will give you a rearrangement like benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement and this is called semi benzylic acid rearrangement so all these reactions are related reactions and it will remind you the Faborsky rearrangement which is like same so in case of Faborsky rearrangement when you don't have the cyclic uh, cyclic thing formation then the reaction goes through like this so this is the thing i hope that you understood the concept behind this thank you for watching